because I talked to Robert Parrish, who did play with him that last dance. And I said, so what, what do you think? He said, and, uh, how, how, how did, uh, if you want to call it a confrontation, came about? Fear was alternating players, you know, second team on the first team, first team on the second team. And so I started, we were scrimmaging. We played like six games of, of uh, going to five points. And so after the, the first two games, Phil put me with the second unit where, where I always play with, you know, my boys, you know, my, and then he put uh, Longley on back with the first team. We proceeded to kick their butts like four straight games <laughs> and uh, Michael took offense to it. So I asked him, how did he like that ass whooping we just put on him? <laughs> and he took offense to it because clearly no one ever, ever man up to him, you know, challenged him. So he said that he was going to, said that if, if if I wasn't careful, he was going to kick my ass. And I told him, like, I'm not in all you. I played with some of the baddest fellas that were walking the court, and I reel off some names, you know. I'm, I'm calling you, I'm like Cedric, the Bird, Mikhail, Bill Walton, Tiny, and I'm going to be in all you. You know, he's looking at me like I had slapped his mother. And, you know, with all due respect to he and Scotty and, and Dennis Rodney, you know, I, I'm, uh, you don't know I'm hanging from the rafters. The guys I just named hanging from the rafters, not to mention I played with some Hall of Fame, Hall of Famers, and I'm going to be in awe of him. And not to mention, Cedric, let's not forget, even though he dropped 63, we stepped all in his ass, did we not? I rest my case. <laughs> the Cedric Maxwell Podcast is brought to you by FanDuel the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. And it was just funny to see Michael and things were said about him, said about you, his greatness. And to hear you talk about it, you appreciate the fact that he was a great player. You acknowledge all those things. Absolutely. And, and um, just it's just kind of a – I, I hope, as, as a black man, as a, as a former player, I hope – Someday that Michael comes to you and sits down, and you guys break bread. Just like the, it's just like me watching the whole thing. What you imagine? That was just so heartwarming to all of us as players that these two guys who were former friends got back together, man, and just you know chopped it up. It, Max, that's what I'm saying. One of us is not telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. I'm just, and I'm just saying it ain't me. Okay. <laughs> here, here are my facts laid out, right? Yeah. Documented. You know, you and 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 again, it's important that I'm having this conversation with you because there is a succession now. There is a, you know, there is a, you know, y'all beat our ass. Not only did y'all beat our ass, but then y'all beat our ass. <laughs> And y'all would talk talk crap to why y'all was beating us. You know what? You don't forget anything. <laughs> Your mind is, I mean, you, you, you have kids, right? You have kids. Yes, yes. They must be looking at like, don't say anything around that because he's going to bring that shit back around <laughs> some way. When when you talk about the last dance and all that, I'm just saying, hey, man, it's, it's some facts that just aren't being presented. And I'm mad. Well, I won't say I'm mad. You use the word disdain. I don't hate him. I don't understand why he did this to me. I don't understand that. But at the same time, it's like, okay, if this is how it is, then this is how it is. But if if you want to apologize, like you, you know, I'm going back, you said Magic and I sat down. Yeah. And Magic said, hey, you know, I'm sorry for all the things I did to you. Carl Malone said, I'm, hey, I apologize for all the things, you know. I, I can accept that, right? But if, if you want to have a private sit down with me and then leave this stuff flowing out here publicly, no, 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 no. You did it on an international stage. I'm in Dubai and I got to answer answer the questions about last dance everywhere I go now yeah. I got to answer. Yeah. so if so I have to speak to it now I got to speak my truth yeah so 
if you want to stop it and clean it up, then, you know, publicly you got to say, hey, this this ain't what I meant. Now, I do still have his producer's emails <laughs> saying I, I got I got stuff where you asking me to participate in your story. And, and I'm thinking we all good. But now I'm finding out all these years that we wasn't. Just saying that ain't that ain't cool, man. That ain't wow. nothing about that cool. CLNS History is brought to you by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network.